Hi, my name's Kit. I'm from the third year screenwriters class at the VCA. Um, we're graduating this year and we're putting on a showcase at the start of the year to show everybody about the work we've done over the past two years. Describe your screenplay in three words. Small town, grief and escape. Shark disaster comedy. Shit. It's <laughs> <laughs> one. Hijinks, emotion and spaceship. Superheroes, adventure and father-son bonding. Weird. Wacky. <laughs> um, Australian? It's super Australian. Animation. Amazon. Journey. Fun, hopeful and overly ambitious. <laughs> Ambition. Ego and uh, performance. Love, endeavour and adventure. Sad, snowman, happy. Tell us about your main character and who would you like to play them? Well, my, my main character is a balloon, so I'm not sure who could, who could play a balloon very well. Someone with a round head. My main character is a middle-aged director from the eastern suburbs putting on an amateur show. Her name is Meredith. And I see her played by either Kathy Bates or John Goodman. Nicole Silver from Wentworth. My main character is a young 10 year old boy called Puck. He loves running and comic books and misinterprets his father's alcoholism as heroics. And like a 10 year old DiCaprio would be pretty good, pretty good choice. Well, my, I have two protagonists and I am playing one of them. <laughs> so, but um, in the real world, if I could have anyone I wanted, I'd probably get Emma Stone. Really like her. It's two main characters, kids. I'd like them both to be played by Kanye West. My main character is a Buddhist monk, a Thai Buddhist monk. There's also a snowman, but it's not really. I would like uh, for the Thai Buddhist monk to be played by just a Thai Buddhist monk. My main character is a bit of a prick. She's, um, she's, yeah, she, she doesn't treat people very well <laughs> in hindsight. I didn't mean to write it like that. Um, who I'd like her to be played by? I don't know, like someone as pretty as Emma Watson, but with the talent of Emma Thompson. Uh, her name is Matilda. Um, I asked my friend Quinn to, to play her, to read her, and she said no. There's a sloth in it. I'd like him to be played by Ian McKellen. Sell your screenplay in six seconds. Summarize it. Okay, I'll act it out. <laughs> oh, look at that snowman. <laughs> that, no, that's not it. <laughs> in a six second buy, it would just be like, probably like the Drake from Hotline, like the Hotline Blink Dash. <laughs> We'll just insert it, yeah. I really need to get out of this town. No, you can't. Oh my god, you're a cunt. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Honey bear and a, and a Jesus lizard. One is diurnal and one is nocturnal. Are travelling together to a mythical paradise called the Endless River. I want to direct the show. No, I want to direct the show. But you're shit. But you're shit. I fucking hate you. Fuck you. Two kids who land on a new planet but can't figure out how to open their spaceship door. Balloon falls in love with the moon and tries to get to it. Oh no, sharks are here. Oh no, it's all good. I don't know. I, don't know. I can't. I can't do that. Oh no, go away. Oh, oh it's fine. <laughs> what is the one sentence take home message? You, you can't do anything more than your best. Uh, never join community theatre ever. Don't let love pass you by. You're aware of the government, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you fail, what matters if, is that you try, I guess. Familial love is just as important as love, sexual love. You can't run away from the things that frighten you, you have to confront them. Even if you're fed up with life, there's always something else out there that can 
renew your appreciation for it. The preservation of our land is the most important. You have to be the hero of your own story. Thank you for watching where the showcase is on this weekend. So please come along. We've just been sitting in dark rooms alone typing for the last two years and now we are ready to shine. So all the details are below. Thank you.